Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of a series that I'm going to be calling uh, Elden Things. I think that's the name I landed on it. Welcome to Elden Things, uh, a little series of things, a little, a, 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 let's take this all again. A little series that we're going to be doing in the meantime while we wait for the DLC, um, Shadow of the Earth Tree, since we finished uh, going for Elden too quickly. Uh, we still have some time on our hands. Um, to all that content that I skipped, I said, oh, we're gonna do just... just the content... You'd think they would put, like, a... a thing here. I said, we're just gonna do some of the content, um... What was I saying? Let's take this all again. Welcome to Elden Things, a little series that we're going to be doing in the meantime while we wait for the DLC to come out. Um, you'll, you'll recall during the Going for Elden uh, series, we skipped some content because I said we're only going to do what we absolutely have to do in order to beat the game and get the two achievements I needed. Well, now we're going to go back and do some of that content we skipped. That's all I've been trying to say for the past, I don't know, five hours. And we're going to start our journey here in the Forbidden Consecrated Snowfields, uh, going to a little location that looks somewhat familiar, but it is wholly different. Uh, the location looks like the town of Celia, the sorcery town... And it has a, a very similar gimmick in that we need to find some torches to light up in order to get a secret passage to open. Um, so here's the town. And we need to be... So this is Ordina, the lit... The, I don't know how, how to say any of these words. The Lethargical? That sounds right. The Lethargical uh, the town? And in this place there is... Uh, we can use our horse here, which is really good. But in this place there's like a little... Um, area. So like, that's where we want to go. But we can't go there yet. So we gotta go here. I gotta read this. Light the four figures in the Everjail, and then we gotta go into the Everjail. Uh, this is a unique Everjail in that it is a town. It's not just a jail cell. We cannot use our horse here, so we gotta go on foot. And we gotta light four statues. Uh, this is a hard thing to do. Because there are invisible enemies who will backstab us, chase us, and kill us throughout this entire place. And I often do not remember where the statues are. I do remember one is up... Actually, wait. We can't do this one yet. Dang it. We'll come right back. One of the statues is down here. Alright, so that's one. I can hear them attacking me, uh, but here's a little trick, you can jump to that ladder right there, and then they can't follow, but there are archers up here who suck. Uh, but this is statue number two up here. We can see a third statue up there. And the, the fourth statue, I believe, is over there. Um, so what I'm going to do is peel off this way. Yeah, there's that statue. I'm going to find a way up there, huh? I can't remember if there's like a, a ladder or whatnot, you know? But 
let's just go discover what we can find. Alright, there is a ladder. So this will be three statues, and then we just need one more, and we're done. Uh, so our optimal route is back up that ladder. Oh, we gotta go up the stairs, okay. Uh, we could go across here, but the- oh, see, I see an archer. Uh, yeah, there they go. Alright. Oh, freezing grease! Fascinating. Um, so we want to go back up this ladder. Yikes. Ow! Okay. Am I just gonna die on the ladder? I think I am. Yeah. Well, that sucks for us, because, uh, you do have to do it all in one go. Which is, uh, suckish. I believe you do. I, I don't think it tracks your progress from different attempts. Um... It might? I don't... I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, these ghost wolves don't do anything, do you? They're just ghosts. Why do I keep wanting to... Because I, I think that's where it is. I gotta go all the way around. There's a Albaneric person. Alright, let's go back on the Evergel. We'll see if we have to relight the statues. I think we do. No, maybe it's still lit? It's really hard to tell. Well, regardless, our first statue is up here on the left. So we can check that out. If they are still lit. They might still be lit, actually. It's still lit. Okay. We got hit by an invisible enemy there. But we don't have the uh, the archer's attention this time, so we should be able to climb this without trouble. So we want to get over there. I think the fastest way to do that is to just sort of uh, roof hop. And we could take the time to collect all these uh, items, because once we do this, we will not be able to come back. Uh, but it's not really worth it, I don't think. Alright. Okay. Okay. Sorry to do that to you, but... I had to. <laughs> Look at all these arrows! You were trying to kill me, and that that really sucks for me, because I like being alive. I don't know if you know this. And this is the fourth and final statue. Seal's broken it down, so now we're gonna get summarily get kicked out. And it even points you into the direction of the staircase. I think the items between the Everjail and the Overworld might be the same too. So like, you get kicked out, but it doesn't matter. Because um, you just pick them up in the Overworld. And then we got a Waygate to the Haleg Tree. Halic Tree is an area that can be slowly explored. I usually just kind of blaze through it. Um, there are a lot of cool enemies. So you've, we've got these these emissaries. They're back from the capital. For whatever reason. They are here. This is the first time I've done this in this order where I've beaten the game first. Um, 
fact, sometimes I even, I don't burn the tree first. So this is, I'm seeing these, uh, these embers fall from the, the earth tree. I don't think I've seen that before. Um, cause I'm pretty mechanical in my other playthroughs. Kinda do things the same time each time. I, I've switched up for fun. This playthrough. I tend not to run through here, um, just because it's so easy to fall when you don't want to fall. The oppressiveness of the the dual Reduvias is undeniable. Alright, so now we gotta get ready. There's a huge danger here. Yeah. We got Scarlet Rotted. I jumped way too early. Uh, we don't have Flame Cleanse Me equipped. Which is clearly a mistake. Um, so we can do nothing but try to outlast this. We do have some baubles. I can pop a... Because I don't remember where the next... Um, this side of grace is right here. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't remember where the next side of grace is. It's here. We're fine. We just heal. Uh, we will grab Flame Cleanse Me. Because um, Scarlet Rod is, 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 I mean, it's not going to be a pressing issue, but it is, it is sort of a, like a prevalent theme of uh, the High League Tree. You guys aren't dying, they're just falling off with one health left. Oh, I guess they are dying. Excuse me? Oh, I forgot these guys. Yeah, okay, so Scarlet Rod is, is sort of like a big issue then. Um, because of those, those, these zombies. These zombies can give us rot. I forgot about them. They, I, I love that they show up and just kind of push you, and that does like a ton of damage. So, who are these guys worshipping? The Earth Tree itself? Possibly? Kind of pointed toward the Earth Tree. It's burning! I don't, I don't know if that... What was that? I don't know if that kind of stops their worship at all. There's an axe boy here. I should have gotten two Reduvias way fat sooner. All I have to do is spam the dual hit. It does a ton of damage. This guy didn't even hear me coming. Plus it builds up bleed so quickly. That That's just... It's unfair, really. He's still alive. Getting some, I like a little tiny bit of visual lag. Which is not my favorite. Alright, he's coming back up. I, th I thought he would, I thought he might. That's a long way to climb for you to just sort of die. Um, there's apparently a giant flower somewhere nearby. I think I can make this jump, honestly. Let's just try. Yeah. 
The alternative is going down, but here we can fight a misbegotten. Or a, uh... Uh oh. I forgot he had friends. He hit me off. And... and followed me. Okay, we're going to die. I, I, wow, I've never been... That's never happened to me before. I didn't know that, So normally the flowers, like, poison you, but these flowers rot you. So that's, that's fascinating. Turn on some light just so we can see. Now uh, we're going to skip some of these optional enemies. There's no reason to fight everything. Oh my god. I swear they put some of these guys just to like, fool you into target locking the wrong thing. Okay. I was hoping to get all of them in that blast. But that didn't work. Who the fuck do you think you are, Radigan? I guess he does. I guess he thinks he's Radigan. Red hair, relentless attacks, it tracks! Seems like they're resistant to Scarlet Rot as well. Maybe the good old Dragon Claw? You can know they're coming and it doesn't help. Stop locking on to people. Where do they come from? Is there not? Okay, there it is. This is run in, run out. In the wall. So I guess we gotta fight our way out. Alright.
As I was saying, you get an ancient dragon smithing stone for uh, clearing that out. Oh my gosh, I almost just walked right off. Uh, so one of the main sort of, I, I guess, goals for Elden Things, this little series we're doing, uh, is just to gather materials, explore, maybe keep leveling up well outside of my normal parameters just to keep in, uh, improving the build. Uh, all in preparation for Shadow of the Earth Tree, we are taking Lyra Dragon Thief into the DLC. Um... I did... I kind of want to go back. I don't know if that Misbegotten respawns. Um, but I saw a ladder I've never seen before, and I kind of want to go up it. The Misbegotten does, in fact, respawn. Um, fascinating. And they, they, they poise these guys, so no matter w which direction you come from, you, you trigger one of them. But I saw a ladder I've never seen before, and I want to go up it. So bear with me. Um, it was on one of one of those deaths just now. I saw in this back corner a ladder. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by Jesus Christ! Are you kidding me? How'd they even know I was up there? They're flowers! They don't have eyes! I was on a completely different level! From them. Yeah, I see you. I know where you are. I'm not going to fight you, because you got frickin' Scarlet Rot. Very clever. I, I, I have no excuses. That's just a poor showing on my part. Maybe we'll never see what's up this 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 gosh dang lagger lag la, lagger ladder, y'all. All right, let's see. What, what do we got? We we got we got other spells. I'm not using Golden Vow. I'm not using the Magma. Let's do Fire Breath. It's classic. And let's do um, Ice Breath. That's Glintstone. I want Ice. Ice. Um, and then, what is our current Talisman situation? Okay, let's bring back the one that enhances roars and breath attacks. And uh, let's just see if we can, we can, we can have a little fun with our dragon powers. Which way? Which way is west? We go this way, that's right. Um, well, first off, we're gonna kill this guy. Then we'll switch to the... Alright. It's kind of an even playing field. Forgot I only have one recharge of that. We should probably rebalance those. Alright. We're in better shape. And this is silly, but let's put on Lord's Divine Fortification to climb a gosh dying, gosh dying ladder. Because for some reason they know where we are. Okay. <laughs> we survived the ludicrous ladder climbing. 
Oh. There's a army of these guys. So what's up here? What's up here that was worth protecting with such fever? Did nothing. A way to go up again? But I can't go backwards. That's just another route. It's just another route, y'all. Well, my curiosity is pissed off. I mean sated. What am I doing? Just warp. Just warp. <laughs> There's nothing here for us. Alright. So now we can press forward. We'll see some familiar looking faces for this run. We've got some summoning snails. Um. And they summon crystallians, which sucks. Oh, I'm sorry, they can just... They just pushed one button and killed me. Cool. Anyway. Um, we're not accumulating runes at, 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 in the manner that I thought we would. We got exploration runes, which is nice, but... Alright. The key is speed, so if we can just speedily kill the snail, the summon goes away. Uh, there are multiple snails, so there are multiple crystallians, which also sucks for us. We can we can just run through this section if we knew they weren't going to chase us. I didn't know there was a snail back in this this area too. Okay. Let's just kill them all. Alright. Oh good, zombies. I feel like I'm just backtracking and that's just like another way to get to this point, so we're not gonna go over there. I know the way is forward. I got two options here. You can try to make that roof to roof tr jump, or you can try to um, land on the plaza. I go plaza, because uh, I don't want to fall to my death. And these roofs, I like to nickname the Roofs of the Dead, because there's just a ton of zombies here. I mean like a ton of zombies. Not like DayZ amount, but like, still just a large quantity of, of these guys. I didn't see them because they were blending in with the tree. Okay. Not being grabbed by them would be a good start. What? I'm gonna die. The slowest enemies in the game. I just, I am bad at the game. I think that much has become more than obvious. Okay. 
Uh, there's some exploration we can do, like there, you can try to make like that jump, get an item, you see that item there. It's, it's actually kind of a tricky jump to make. See? Um, and then the item's probably not worth it, so why am I demonstrating why it's a tricky jump and the item's not worth it? I don't know. Especially because now we're going to have to run through all of the areas I've been struggling with again. Uh, but the cool news is... I've demonstrated that I can do it now, so I'm just going to run through and let the Crystallians just be bored with no one to fight. The it, It's one of the biggest lessons of Elden Ring. It's just like, oh, are you struggling to get through an area? Just run through it. If you just run through it, the enemies typically don't follow you. Oh, fuck me. I was looking the wrong way, huh? So, just a little advice. I think these guys might have fallen off the roof to follow me. Uh, but that's fine, because now we can kill them here instead of struggling against the whole bunch. Alright, clear out this area. There is kind of a difficult little, little area coming up. Because uh, there's three sort of like wizard people who suck. There's one of them. There's another of them. Maybe it's only two. I'm sorry, has he locked. Has he aggroed to me? Yeah, yeah, he is. Okay. Um, I don't want to fight two wizards at once. Another another good little life tip. So maybe we just let this guy come. If, if he's going to come up this bridge, we let him. We've cleared out all the enemies behind. We've cleared out all the enemies behind us. Uh, so we, sh we should have safe passage to retreat. Oh, that's a good spell. Not have a lot of magic defense. He can really fuck us up here. Alright, we'll go in and do a bunch of strikes. We're just gonna do close range, huh? Oh, he was gonna do the hammer. Another really good spell. Uh, so now we've aggroed his brother. I do not actually know if they are related. Okay. This is the big lob. Oh, headbutt! Good for you, using your head there. Uh, this area is really ripe with smithing material, which is, is good. I almost feel like you were supposed to, like, oh man, I can't defeat like the boss, I've been struggling against the boss. If only there was like a, a place I could go to get like a bunch of good materials and a bunch of uh, runes to level up. Um, and then it's like, oh yeah, there's the Hegel tree, the Halig tree. Uh, this elevator is a shortcut back to one of our sites of grace. Um, let's see, there's that side of grace. Uh, yeah, we might as well sit down. Uh, at it. It does bring the wizard brothers back, but we can easily avoid them. Because uh, we're about to go into the boss of this Halig tree area. It's a pretty fun boss fight, kind of an echo of a boss fight we've already done before, um, but this is the real version of it. 
and I mentioned I'm weak to magic. <laughs> it's not gonna be good. I got 25. It, it's not any weaker than any of the other elements right now. Alright, so yeah, we can easily just kind of avoid the brothers' magic here. Um, is there? There's no one we can summon, I don't think. I think it's just me versus them. Uh, let's clear out our map. I don't know why, but we are. Alright. Hello, Loretta, Knight of the Halic Tree. We fought your image before. Wait, this is the real one. That's a ton of damage. I'm dead. So since she's living, she'll bleed. That's the hopes. Yep, she bleeds. I don't like those swords. They create too many things to dodge. Oh, she hit me with both of the... Wow. I rolled entirely too early and I'm aware of it. I've got my own projectiles. Oh my gosh. Oh! here. Oh shit. Oh, so many arrows. Oh, am I dead? I died. <laughs> Cool fight. I don't think I have many things that resist um, just pure magic. Um, that would... Okay, so let's see. That's an increase of magic. That is not. So we're at 13. Anything higher than 13. 13.5. Is that, is that the highest we can get? 13.3. Another 13.5 in the scaled armor. Um, anything in the lighter? Typically, no. Typically, 13.3, but then we're also losing... Uh, she also does physical, so like we don't want to simply put everything in the magic. So I think scaled armor? Did that 13.5? Um, skill 13.3. This is literally the same. Oh, 7.7. .7. Uh, so what did that bring our magic defense to? 26 instead of 25. Like, I, I don't know, even know if it really is making that much of a difference. I really don't feel like this Crimson Seed Talisman is doing anything, which is crazy. Base greatly boosts non-physical damage. Like, we could switch to this magic. See if that really is going to make too, like a difference. Um, 
Because, but but now I feel like we're gonna get we're gonna take more damage from the physical attacks, which is it's like we're just trading off basically. Uh, but we'll see. It, it could make a difference. Don't worry about him. Here, on the map. I'd love to get my runes before we fight, but I don't feel like I'm gonna get a sh chance to do that. You jumped up to make swords? damage from the, uh, the magic attacks. Yeah, so now our, our real danger is the physical attacks. They're doing much beefier hits against us. here. Oh. Oh. Alright, so now she's juiced up. So we gotta change our timing to things just a little bit. Uh, not a lot. Okay, so it doesn't matter the uh, the damn the 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 magic resistance really didn't <laughs> factor in much there. So what Golden Val does is it boosts our attack and our defense. So it might be good to just throw on at the big, like, at the start of the fight, just to juice up our attack a little bit and take less damage against the uh, those physical attacks. Honestly, if I'm not using roar attacks, we can put both of these on. What does it actually do? It's in our 
physical is 40 and her magic is 40. Okay. It, it actually does juice us up a little bit. Where did we die? Okay, our runes are very close to us. She doesn't do an attack, she just jumps up and makes swords. Where is she? <laughs> There's he dead. Oh. I'm on the wrong juice. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna die here. I, did, I got hit by the first attack. I'm already dead! What? You shot the tree that you're protecting! Uh, Golden Bell! That was the difference, yeah. <laughs> nah, I was being a little silly at the beginning there. Kind of ignore her and just go get her runes. She's not gonna do anything. Alright, we got rid of our shield. Come to me. dead. Oh, sorry for the lack of commentary there, folks. I was definitely focusing my hardest to uh, end her before she could end me. 
Alright, so we don't need the uh, the magic resistance anymore. Um, you should find some better talismans. And we'll get to level up twice. And that's the first part of the Halic Tree sort of done. Um, which is kind of all I had planned for this episode, which is silly. Because I did it way faster than I thought I would. Ah, I only have enough for one level here. Let's grab some of the runes we picked up. Let me squeeze another level out. It's very close, but not quite enough yet. That might be it. Ooh, so close. That's enough. Um, so yeah, I, I've been doing some thinking about... I normally end my character levels at 150, but I don't do any PvP. Like, sometimes I'll do some um, summoning, like, help people out, uh, defeat bosses and such. Uh, but this character isn't really doing that much either so I was like yeah let's just keep building why not keep putting stats uh, into her and making her the best she can be I don't think there's any enemies up here there's a chest though another ancient dragon smithing stone we ever find so uh, all these materials are great for picking up DLC weapons and, and getting them to max. So that's that's you know we'll take it, we'll take it. We are now entering. Uh, we're going down the tree. Um, so this they give it a cool name. What, what is the name? Uh, brace. I feel brace of the Halic. It's like. Yeah, one of the, uh, one of, like, the branches or sections of the tree. We got a clean knight rot. Wait, a, cl a clean rot knight. Face to get to the, uh... Uh, to get to the side of grace here. Oh! Sorry, I just had a stray thought. I, I put on this... What? <laughs> I put on this, um, lowers consumed by skills thing, but I forgot. If we're using skills again, we can use the, uh, the Shard of Alexander there. Now, this is a cool little area to explore, uh, slowly. say that I immediately had to fight like 20 guys um, but yeah this is a cool little place to explore because there's like tons of items and enemies kind of every which way it's all snake like and you can get to the end of the area pretty easily um, I say that I, I've done this area so many times because uh, all of my characters fight What's her face? The hardest fight in the game. I'll say all my characters. I've only beat the game twice, three times before this. Twice before this character. Three times with this character. Um, so I have gone through this area a few times, but it, I made it sound like it was way more than it actually was. He's gonna survive this, isn't he? No, he dies. Huh? Cool. Uh, here's a little trick. You can jump to that branch. Oh, 
Oh, and there's actually... Oh, wait, where does this go? Oh, is this the elevator? It is. Okay. There's a shortcut. I cannot do it. For the life of me. But if you can jump down this shaft and have your body land on the button... Um, that triggers the elevator... Then it, you can technically shortcut to the bottom of the tree and skip a whole chunk of it. I am not good at it. Uh, there is an Erd Tree Avatar. This is an Erd Tree Avatar fight. Um, there is no summon sign, so it's just me versus an Erd Tree guy. And it's not a boss fight either, which is fascinating. Oh, it's a Scarlet Rot one too? Oh. I don't know. I don't know about all this. There is a legendary item at the end of this uh, pathway. Um, I forget what it is. It's just a somber ancient. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about fighting you. Mainly because you do that. But I can't just run when you start doing your, your hyper stupid laser attack, that's gonna be bad because there's no real cover here. Oh, you threw me off the bridge. Cool. I don't know. I suppose I could have put fire grease on. Because it's like made of wood. Well, let's keep using the axe. See how the axe compares to like the daggers. Okay, the axe doesn't quite get the kill. But it does two hit him. Oh, so yeah, if you just keep walking down this path, you'll get somewhere. I mean, you'll get sort of to the end of the path, uh, but there's a, a lot of cool ways to go that are more advantageous, let's say. For uh, actually getting through the area. Because um, if you just keep going this way, basically you end up having to fight so many things. Lots of stuff. Um, including a couple of clean night rot, clean rot knights, and scores of these soldier boys, and you end up like, I'm sorry, you fall from. You end up kind of in like a shooting gallery area for a bunch of enemies. two clean rot knights in this room, so we'll bait one of them out. It would be great if you guys would get closer so I could do my ranged attacks. What is it? Oh, I was out of stamina. Unfortunate. The Clean Rot Knights. They're really cool. Uh, they're the personal servants of the lady whose name I can't remember. 
Melania, Maquella, there's so many names. H how am I supposed to remember which ones? Who is who? Melina? Melania? This is hard. It's hard, to, it's hard to remember all these people and their, their individual names. So now I'm showing you this, like, the vanilla way to get through this area. Which is just to go kind of straight. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. This, this is the good way to go. Because if you go up, you can go around, and you avoid the firing squad. I fell! I'm dead. Now I'm showing you nothing. <laughs> Alright. Um, we're going to get to the next bonfire, and then I think that'll be the end of the episode. So once we get, once you see the next bonfire, just know it's wrapping up soon. I'm just tired. <laughs> To peel the curtain back a little bit, uh, that series finale of uh, going for Elden, uh, I recorded that yesterday, and that was um, about four hours or so of straight recording uh, before I beat it. I, I edited a, a huge chunk out where I just grinded against... Um, some Alvin uh, and honestly, it might be a tiny bit controversial, but if I didn't use the summon on that Radigan fight, I would still be trying to beat the game. Um, it, is, it is a hard game, it's a hard fight. Alright. I don't think we can get through here without killing them. I had a weapon that could instantly give me somebody Scarlet Rot. You were saying? I got their gauntlets. That's pretty awesome. Back to where what we were doing. I'll be able to get my my runes back, which is good. Sorry, guy. I know that hurts. I just did it. What? No shield? Damn. That means all of these daggers attacks are going through. I think I'll switch back to the X. Alright. Oh. That's where we did. Alright, so we want to get around that. And the way to do that is to go up. So we'll go back up. Go get our runes, we won't fall this time. There's a guy in here! Cool. Hmm. We got slippery feet today. Alright, I just want to grab my runes. Ah, that's what it is. 
We go across and over and up. Um, I'm busy explaining here, dude. You could just shut up. Because uh, you see, there's an earth tree. Are you kidding me? I was taking one moment to explain the situation. <sighs> we do it again. This episode doesn't end until we get to the next side of grace. I don't even know what hit me there. That's the crazy part. Okay, there is another way around I can show off. Has less clean right clean rot knights. Not zero, but less. Um, yeah, so if you Where did you come from? <laughs> Every time I go to explain something, you guys show up to be dicks. Yeah, so if we go here, and we make this tiny jump here, uh, we end up in a tiny bit of a shortcut. Weird that they didn't aggro on me. So here's a clean right knot. Ooh, that was close. There's a pretty good set of spirit ashes here for those of you who care. It's one of the, one of the legendary ones. Uh, Clean Rot Knight Finley is a good one. Alright, make this jump. Go up here. If there is a bad guy in here? No. I could target him through the floor. Another somber. Uh, before you saw the guy sitting in a chair at the end of a thing, he gets a seat. Yeah. And then, pretty sure that's where I died. Uh. All right. Cool. Forget, forget you. I'll, I'll show off what I want to show off over here. Um. So you see, it's a bunch of archers, a bunch of bad things, a, a Miranda flower, a ton of soldiers, Erd tree avatar, and they're all aggro. So if you just go straight through, it's a bad time. So you're gonna snake your way through, like I'm doing here. Shit, fuck you, dude. Using the guard counter against me. sort of on the battlements of the courtyard so like if you go down there it's kind of instant death there's there's all these bad bad things over there so being on the battlements is much safer but you're, you're probably thinking well how how do we get through here how, if we're gonna have to drop down and fight our way through it uh, no we take the coward's path Make this little jump here. Grab this little knight helm there. Descend a little ladder. And we are through. This is the next side of grace. I'll pick up this item for those of you who are like, oh, there's an item. Uh, but this has been Elden Things. 
first episode of Elden Things. Uh, we'll see how many episodes we all have to do before the the uh, the DLC. Uh, but thank you for watching. I have been Bear Arms and Fire. You guys have been great, and I'll see you as always in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>